Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss how to plot NetCDF data using RStudio. So let's begin. I have downloaded few files. Let me show you. Here I have downloaded the maximum temperature of GCM head EM2. And you can see it's a direct extension is NC. So we have to start uh, with open RStudio and uh, first of all we have to add the working directory to add a working directory we have to use set with set with and uh, which one is your working directory and let's see go to your folder and just click upward copy it so now you can just uh, use paste it and uh, add this okay our working directory is set let's see where uh, our working directory so you can see there are two files in our working directory it is an c visual and this one so we have to add some libraries so let's begin with the libraries first of all we have to add reader and uh, again we have to add uh, the player so if you cannot find any uh, library you can go add uh, install it from here in under packages you can go to install and uh, here you can write the name of the package you are missing or you need so i have installed our packages so now i just need to install uh, add these libraries if you have any queries relating to package installation or any type of uh, assistant i will help you okay so and for the codes i will provide it uh, on demand okay so ggplot similarly library edits and similarly library of various light and uh, for weather data sets we have installed the library of weather matrix okay so now we have to for working with the uh, netcdf file oh shit okay so working with the netcdf file we have to add uh, ncdf4 similarly we have to use uh, library of uh, Quran. Okay, so and uh, for color plotting, we have to use our color view and uh, library of latex, lattice types. And uh, now we have to open our NC file. So let's give it a name. I'm going to name it NC and uh, after doing nc in we have to use nc open command and we have to just copy it and paste it so in this way your file will be open you can see in the environment nc and list of 14 variable okay similarly we have to get some variable such as long for longitude so nc variable get file name as we provided here nc in and uh, that's the variable which we want to get i am that want to get longitude so longitude similarly for latitude okay nc variable get nc in uh, latitude latitude longitude and the main thing is the maximum temperature so i am going to name it going to name it as temp array similar way and then nc variable get file name which is nc in and the variable name which is tarfax so okay you can see here it is temporary array lad and long in the environment you cannot see you can click here in environment tab you will uh, find all these okay 
no we will move forward further we want to check the units of temp array and uh, and its latitude or time so first of all we have to check units of temp array um, let's begin with the nc attribute get and uh, file name in the same way as we get, uh, write it in uh, getting variable so nc in and file name uh, variable name then so task max and similarly comma and uh, your units just write units okay for uh, time units we have to write uh, t units so nc attribute get and similar way nc in file name and uh, time and uh, comma units but don't forget to use the commas okay time comma units okay so now see let's open the units so it is in Calvin we have to change it uh, to uh, degree Celsius so all of you know how to convert Calvin into degree Celsius just to, uh, deduct to 73.15 okay let's begin we want to uh, subtract uh, to 73.15 so in this way our data will be uh, converted into degree celsius similarly we want to check the uh, t units let's be it's uh, in year and then month and then day if you want to get the monthly data so we will type uh, temporary first we will go and give it a name temp slice you can give it as temp slice temp array and uh, brackets comma comma one okay so in this way our monthly data will be uh, we will get our monthly data now our job is almost done we have to close the nc file so nc close that uh, name of your file which is nc i n okay so we have done now let's uh, go to plotting so we will write image uh, our image we have to use a long lad and temp top slice okay so let's see under plots you can see our data is plotted so it's not looking so good so for that purpose i have uh, used some codes so just copy these codes and paste it uh, downward i'm i'm doing the same so you can see i have pasted uh, the us temp array dot dot month so it's not month it's one okay similarly maximum temperature and uh, furthermore borders and uh, all of these so we'll just press enter okay so now so we will write as map cdf temp uh, let loan and uh, temp slice no temp no temperature temp dot slice okay let's see yeah it is working so uh, we can see the plot here let's uh, zoom it So you can see the temperature here it is uh, above 25 in the region of uh, america north america you can say and in africa and here it is pakistan okay let's see if we want to get uh, 
the data is for uh, month of January and if we want to get the data for month of uh, let's see June so we will write as uh, temp slice and uh, give it as the temp dot uh, array brackets comma comma six okay again we have to use map cdf temperature uh, let alone and uh, uh, at the end it is temp slice temp dot slice okay this is for a month of so our map will be changed and it will uh, give you the data for month of you can see June okay So it is loading, it will take some seconds. <laughs> okay, uh, you can see the temperature is uh, rises and it is more than 40 degree at uh, some part of Australia and similarly in the North America. So I hope this video will help you and uh, Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and uh, continue to visit my channel. I hope you will find more uh, similar uh, interesting videos. Thanks a lot for uh, visiting. Take care. Bye bye.